Okay, this is the video to show you how we did the scaling technique as uh, named by Rachel. Um, this is what you were kind of going for. Now, the main important thing in this is the layout, laying it out perfectly so that you end up with full diamonds um, evenly all the way around so they're all the same size. I was starting the layout on this one for just to show you how it's done and as you can see the layout gets a little bit too wide in the back just to, but this is just to show you how I at least did it to carve it. Okay we're gonna start the carving by first you gonna score in your lines of your pattern all the way around your diamonds do one at a time where you can score the whole thing Now that the top part is going to be the part that's going to be the deepest carved in, so you want to make sure that your score on that is pretty deep at the top. Alright, now I start cutting in, starting from the top to the line that you scored. And you want to go deeper at the top and just, just barely carving it at the bottom near the middle of the diamond. Once you have the top carved in, uh, about eighth inch or so, now you come in from the opposite side and do the same exact thing. Just barely taking any material here, but going down that eighth inch or so in there, however deep you want, want it. Now we slowly start taking away material. To bring the whole thing down to the plane you want. So barely this part you barely take any material. And you keep going further. Just keep taking material away until it's recessed enough to where you're happy. Every once in a while, just keep going back and scoring it so it gets rid of all the leftover little pieces that didn't come off. That would be your first piece, your first cut in. And then you continue that, doing that to every single one. As 
starting with the top. Just be careful not to cut into this diamond. Now that you get another one going, you can see that it starts taking shape as to the weave or the um, dragon, the scaling type look. gives you a look at you can see the start of the pattern all right as you can see I already did another one and we'll just finish up with this last one here carving it up. Remember, just take a little bit at a time. and you can see the pattern coming up and uh, this you know you can finish it up by you can leave it that way or sand it down smooth um, choice is yours I mean still needs a little crisping up on the lines make it nice and nice and uh, sharp and of course you can always go deeper with these make them real deep and make it look real sticking out more or keep it keep it a little bit more flat but uh, there you go.